Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, as I've been going through and uh, trying to make sense of my collection, uh, reorganizing and uh, finding what I do and don't have, uh, I'm just trying to find uh, some videos I can do of sets that I've completed. So I thought I'd share one of those with you today. Uh, this one is going to be uh, DC Special. This is uh, one that I started collecting when I was a kid. I think maybe right after they restarted the title in the mid '70s. I know uh, it started like maybe in 1968, and uh, I think they canceled it or put it on hiatus or whatever around '71, and then they picked it back up around '75, I think. Uh, but a lot of cool stuff in here. Most of it was reprints early on, and uh, later on they had some new stories. But uh, just a little mishmash, mishmash. <laughs> of everything in here so uh we'll kind of get to it okay here we have number one dc special carmine infantino special and around this time they were uh putting this little blurb on the top daring and the different or daring to be different I'm not sure number two this was a uh humor special i guess top teen favorites in a hippie happy holiday happening I think a lot of these were like uh, Binky and a lot of those characters. I have a second copy of number two. Number three, all girl issues. Stand back boys, the girls are taking over. I think this front piece was probably uh, Neil Adams, maybe. Number four. 13 Shock Ending Stories. Great Neil Adams cover. Another copy of number four. Maybe a little better. Number five. Secret Lives of Joe Kubert. This is one of my favorites. Big Kubert fan. Kind of like it where you see him uh, do characters on the cover that you don't get to see him do a whole lot. And some that you do. Yeah. Number six, The Wild Frontier, an adventure to stagger the imagination. So it's been a while since I've read this, so I'm not sure it's like uh, Western slash sci-fi stories. But another uh, nice Neil Adams cover. Number seven, Strangest Sports Stories Ever Told. Number eight, Wanted, the world's most dangerous villains. Number nine, more strange sports stories. Number ten, Stop, You Can't Beat the Law. Number 11, one, another one of my favorites, Beware the Monsters Are Coming, or Slash, They're Here. Uh, another nice Neil Adams cover. Number 12, some uh, adventure and mystery. You got Silent Night, Robin Hood, Viking Prince, Golden Gladiator, whoever that was. Another copy of number 12. Number 13, more strange sports stories. Another copy of number 13. DC special number 14, more wanted the world's most dangerous villains. Got some nice uh, golden and silver age reprints in this one. I think I showed this in a recent video. Number 15, Featuring Plastic Man. Got a nice old date stamp on there. Number 16. Uh, this is after they restarted it. Of course, you can tell a kind of a difference here. Uh, more great Silver Age reprints. Superheroes battle super gorillas. Who doesn't like a gorilla on the cover? like I did. I got two copies. Number 17. I got some cool 
Silver Age Green Lantern reprints. Nice Mike Grell cover. And another number 17. This is an upgrade. Number 18, Earth Shaking Stories, Superman, Flash, and Green Lantern, and The World's Mightiest Mortal. I really like this one. As you can tell. This is what you call the uh, <laughs> duplicate copy sickness. My buddy Eric and I have had a few conversations about this. Uh, this is number 19, War Against the Giants. Got some more cool reprints. Got an Ernie Chan cover. There's an upgrade on that one. Just a lot of fun stuff. Uh, here's number 20. Here's some more Silver Age Green Lantern reprints. Another Mike Grell cover. I'm just assuming they had him do these covers because he was uh, like working on Green Lantern, Green Arrow at the time and some other stuff for DC in the 70s. Uh, number 21, Superheroes War Against the Monsters. You can tell this is my original because it's beat all to pieces. But got an upgrade. So. Okay. Number 22. The Three Musketeers and Robin Hood. I didn't have any special interest in these. I, I just got these because it was a continuation of the title. Got some nice covers. Uh, Luis Dominguez, who did a lot of horror stuff. And Phantom Stranger. Jonah Hex. Number 23, more of the same. Number 24, more Three Musketeers and Robin Hood. Number 25. Okay, now we're getting in some different stuff. Uh, DC Special presents Enemy Ace, number 26. Got a great Kubrick cover on that one. I just love that uh, drawing in the background. Number 27. I think they were, these were getting into some, like, some new stories. Uh, Danger. Dinosaurs at Lars. Looks like you got the... Uh, Challengers of the Unknown and Captain Comet. He's one of my favorite characters. Number 28. All new stories in this one. Uh, Earth Shattering Disasters. Got Batman, Aquaman, and the Legion of Superheroes. That is an Al Milgram cover. And here's another copy of number 28. And last but not least, we've got number 29. Uh, probably one of my favorite comics from the Bronze Age. Just because of the characters and the story and the cover art. Uh, nothing not to love about this one. It's uh, the untold origin of the Justice Society. Got a great Neil Adams cover there. Uh, I had this one... Uh, Signed by Neil. It's for Shannon, Neil Adams. So, would have been really cool to have Adams on the interiors, but uh, this, this cover makes it all worth it. And got some great Joe Staten art on the inside. Always, uh, I was always happy to see like the Golden Age Superman and Batman in the story. Okay, guys, that's all I got. Uh, hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And uh, I guess in upcoming videos, I'm going to be doing some more uh, short run series uh, from Marvel and DC. Uh, probably combine a few series, and uh, we'll see a little bit of that later. So, hope you guys are having a great day. Enjoy your weekend. Onward and upward.